They're all male. And that's why the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Now, do you want to equalize that, just out of curiosity? I what about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the f and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities mm -hmm. in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men, men work more longer hours. They work more dangerous jobs. They're more likely to move. They're more likely to work outside. They're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable. They make more money for those reasons. And that's all hidden under the idea that the reason that men and women make different amounts of money is because of their gender. It's a very simplistic analysis. And What do you understand by equality, Sophie? What does it mean to you? Uh, freedom. Can you be more... Is it equality of opportunity? Is it equal pay across the board? Is it something more than that? I think equality is better for everyone. I, I yeah, think, okay. you know, I, and I'm really delighted, uh, you know, I love my job because it's an optimistic and a hopeful job, which is about creating more choices for people. I'm interested in people being able to have different choices and, um, and having equality of outcome. Aha, well, so. There we go. There we go, equality of outcome. Freedom to them is equality of outcome. It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. That is equal opportunity. Again, feminism says we need equal opportunity. We need to be equal with men. We need the opportunities, corporations. You need to give women the opportunity. Universities, you need to give women the opportunity. Governmental policies and institutions need to give women the opportunity. Men need to give women the opportunity. The world needs to give women opportunity. They scream that. They don't, they don't have the opportunity. But what have I been saying on this channel? They do not want equal opportunity. They want equal outcomes, which is deranged. Even if you take two children raised in the same household, even twins, given the same opportunities, they will have different outcomes depending on their own character, depending on their own choices, depending on the fields, uh, the, the job choices they make, the educational choices that they make, the relationship choices that they make, who they choose to give their body to, all of that for men and women. But in this deranged era, you see why it's never enough? You see why feminism is a disease, while it is filled with lies? Because it started one way, where women are claiming that patriarchy has oppressed them, and the men of today, it's their job now to step aside. Not, no, actually, I take that back. I, I'm so wrong. Not step aside, to be stepped on. Stepped on is the word put down, pushed away, while women are given more and more because we've got to make up for the past. The sins of the past, the men that, and, and all the wrongs they did to women and not giving them equal opportunity. Well, now we've got to make good. And this is where we see in society now where feminism has infected every facet of life. And that more and more given to women, more and more our boys and men are ignored, shut down, canceled if they speak out and they they're just exiting not just the dating market the data shows but they're exiting all of it they're not going to the universities why because the policies and the and the administration the environment is so hostile and negative and destructive to who a man is biologically we're supposed to respect everyone else's biology but men no they, they get no respect but I had to point that out. Oh, hey guys, it's your girl, Melanie. And this is Jordan, another Jordan Peterson um, reaction that I'm doing. But I had to point that out. And this is what you have to always understand. You have to always understand if you do not get that, you will continue to be deceived as a woman and you will be continue to be deceived as a man. Even though you may know some things, you may feel a certain way, understand it will never end because again, equality is not what they want. They want what they want at the end of it. And no matter what means it takes to get it, get there, they demand, they are entitled that they get it. You're going to have choices and equality of outcome. What if people choose, choose different things, which is what they've been doing in Scandinavia 
So the Scandinavian countries have moved more towards gender equality than any other countries. And the personality differences in Scandinavia have increased rather than decreased. And the proportion of women who are choosing STEM fields has decreased rather than increased. So as cultures become more gender neutral, the number of women who choose STEM fields decreases. What do you mean by STEM fields? So science, science, technology, technology. Okay, okay. engineering, and mathematics. So if you actually... let men and women make their choices, what actually happens is that they specialize in different, in different situations. Could they and you not, don't get equality could of Could they not have been programmed to have those views from the moment we raise them and give boys no. Lego and construction? No, because... because what happens is that as countries get more egalitarian, which means there's less program, programming of that sort, the differences get larger, not smaller. And the scientific data on that is clear. And most of it was generated by people who have a left-leaning bias, so you can't blame it on conservative scientists. It was a shock to everyone to find that out. So I think, I mean, I think the difference between Jordan and me is that we, um, we look at uh, evidence and we lean towards different theories. So Jordan's theory is very much evolutionary, you know, that there are inherent differences in men and women. Mine is very much more social role theory, if you like, and I, that, that men and women are taking on different roles due to the expectations that society puts on mm. them. And it's, it's interesting that Jordan frequently uh, cites Scandinavian countries where they've made more, like there's nowhere in the world that women are equal, um, but Scandinavia has made the most progress towards um, uh, shared parenting, um, et, et cetera. Yep. Um, that said, um, it's not done yet. There's nowhere in the world where this is done yet. But so, it's having the opposite so, effect that the gender equality types predicted. But, but, opposite, not, not the same. So and it isn't a theory, it's actually data driven by tens of thousands of surveys and the best scientific literature on the topic. I'm not, it's not a theory, mm. and I didn't come about it because of my political perspective. I looked at the data. What it showed was that as countries become more egalitarian, the differences between men and women grow. They don't shrink. So what I'm interested in is, is data and analysis as well. And I'm particularly interested in the ones presented, such as the ones by the University of Southern California, um, which discovered that um, change towards gender equality is actually being slowed by beliefs that are legitimizing social inequalities on the basis of sex. And I'm also interested, I mean, like Jordan, I look at the data and I look at the studies and I'm really also very much interested in studies uh, like the analysis that was done by um, the American Psychological Society, which looked at 45 analysis of sex, whether there's sex difference over 20 years. And its conclusion was that men and women are basically alike in terms of personality, in terms of cognitive ability, in terms of leadership. But what it did find was that media depictions of men and women as fundamentally different perpetuate misconceptions as does workplace bias oh god so it's my guys okay we're going to continue this but you see how every time i see jordan peterson in particular talking to a feminist woman um or being uh, interviewed by one or debating one they always put words in his mouth they all in his mouth they always overstep what he's saying and when he corrects them they ignore it they want to say that oh he's politically biased but they of course are not He's interpreting data and facts. And the fact that this woman comes from the standpoint that she thinks that there can be a quality of outcome, it just deletes everything she has to say. That is not a person of sound mind. That is not a, a person of sound reasoning. This is a person who has who is an activist and the the mean the 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 ends justify the means. Whichever way they got to get to their equal outcome, it doesn't matter. So they're going to cherry pick, nitpick data, ignore other data so they can get to their conclusion. They don't want any evidence that goes against their narrative. Why? Because there's a glitch now. They, and she's saying that w there's nowhere in the world where women are equal. Here in the United States, I, I you know what? I agree. Women are no longer, they, women are not equal with men in society's eyes. Women are above men. So men are facing the inequalities and the data shows that. And then this, this, they say in one breath, you know, uh, you have to value women for who they are and their special traits and, and, and shouldn't another interview uh, that he had with uh, a woman from CBC, BBC, one of these places where she is basically saying, well, shouldn't corporations change to be more feminine, to value how women are different? But now this woman, same side, same team as saying that, oh, there is no difference between men and women. They, their personalities, who they are, what drives them, 
it, there's no difference. Again, feminism, they want to erase biology. They want to erase these things, except for when it benefits them. So here, what I want to know what opportunities does a man have that women don't? And they always talk about in, in, in the job market. Usually they are referring to corporate job market. You don't see these women fighting for the right to work on the oil, oil rig, to be steel workers, to do, uh, to do the heavy farming, to build machinery, to be in the sewer systems. They don't, you don't see any women fighting for there. Where, where's their, their, where's the equality there? Shouldn't women be going more in those fields? No, women want the cushy, seemingly powerful, high paid positions that men have had that have oppressed them. These men have run the country. No, the men who run the country are the, are the men who are blue collar, the, the men you ignore for relationship, the men you put down, the men you think you don't even, it's like, you don't think they exist. No, they just don't exist to you. But at the same time, you want to bring up this nonsense. My fault. So, no, well, you know, you're leaving soon. It's okay. <laughs> men and women, men and women actually are more the same than they are different. But the issue is, is that small differences at the population level can turn into very large differences at the extreme. So for example, men and women are broadly similar with regards to aggression, although men tilt a little bit more towards aggression. About, so that if you picked a random person out of the population, male and female, and you guessed that the male was more aggressive, you'd be right 60% of the time. But if you take the one in a hundred most aggressive people, they're all male. And that's why the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Now, do you want to equalize that? Just out of curiosity, I, what about bricklayers? They're 99% male, and the, and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities mm -hmm. in the humanities and social sciences are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men men work more longer hours. They work more dangerous jobs. They're more likely to move. They're more likely to work outside. They're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable. They make more money for those reasons. And that's all hidden under the idea that the reason that men and women make different amounts of money is because of their gender. It's a very simplistic analysis and trying to Michael, address I just going to say, quite, Sophie, can, can well, you come back well, I mean, on that? I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to equalize is, is opportunity and choice. Fine, and let's equalize choice. You agree, and absolutely. You agree on that. that. But we won't get equal outcome think, that way. And I think that what happens then uh, nobody knows because we, we've, we've never done it. Yet. We do know. But we know what's happened in Scandinavia, happened, but it's not fully got there. Yet. No, yet. but it's going in the opposite direction that everyone predicted and strongly. You know, I think there's. I think one of the things I loved about Jordan's book, which I read, speed read last night. So forgive me, Jordan. I've not read every. Sorry. You know how she ignored all that he said. You you see, every single time, they ignore, ignore, ignore. The, you and uh, guys, I'm, I'm going to go back to it quickly, but you, I want you to start opening your eyes and seeing this is where it trickles down from what you're feeling in the dating market in relationships. It trickled, it trickles down from this, uh, diseased ideology of modern feminism. There is no logic and nothing is good enough. There is never enough. And if you present opposite data, they glitch out, they don't respond. They ignore it. Just like they ignore the men who have been speaking up about how women today are not wives. Women today are, you know, uh, raking men over the coals in the court system. They, they, they do not care about that. They claim equality, but it's hip hypocrisy is really what it is. Now she wants equal opportunity, but you said you wanted equal outcome. It, it, she talks out of both sides of her mouth because she, it, she has nothing. She has, she, she, I mean, she is way out of her league intellectually. <laughs> but one of my favorite rules in Jordan's book is rule nine, which says, assume Oh wait, you see how she wants to pander. She's like, one of my, I really love his book. I bet you she's gonna try to use his point. I have not seen this clip uh, to, to make her point in against him. Assume the person you are listening to might know something you don't. Yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. And I think that in a country where men outnumber women um, uh, by two to one in parliament, in local government, um, where women's voices are not equally represented in media, um, where our education systems um, still are teaching boys and girls ideas of pink and blue. Yeah. What I'm trying to do is work with thousands of optimistic, hopeful people uh, for change. Okay. What? You said, kept very quiet through this, Michael. I'm going to make you, uh, put you under a bit of pressure. Do forgive me, I'm going to come to the calls in a moment. Your boss called the gender pay gap a burning...
Wait, y'all. There, is is that a win? Injustice, is it? Yes, it is, because uh, it's, there should be an equality of uh, opportunity. There needs to be the same rights. But you know something that surprised me? That neither of you, and, and sure. equality of outcome, sure, all of that, all of that. But the one thing both of you haven't mentioned is the biological difference, which unfortunately affects women's career prospects, whether we like babies it or not. Well, yeah. Babies. Mm. And that does cause a problem. You know, if I were to take a sabbatical from a corporation for a while, it's going to set me back slightly. And it is a problem that biologically it's women who have babies, not men. Sure, but that's why we are the... So the Women's Equality Party is the only party in the UK uh, that's got policies around shared parental leave. She's so we're the political. Only, we're, the only, well, we're the only party that um, has got fully costed plans for universal free childcare. Um, what we're saying is that... You're um, trying to change, change the We're outcomes. trying to change the outcomes. And also, men are joining our party, men well, who are I, really I tired. Said, and I'm sure we'll have a word with Michael, because <laughs> I'm sure he'll want the application. OK, OK, okay forgive me. We take joint members. Forgive me, I want to take one call, but, if you'll forgive me, because time is sure. really short, and I owe it to the viewers to hear their views on this. We've got Salim calling from Manchester. Salim, good morning. Hi, Matthew, how are you doing? I'm very well, I'm loving it. I'm uh, hogging... Uh, pig in heaven today. Uh, <laughs> what do we think about equality? Will it ever happen, Salim? Um, I, I, I was going to say I thought it was going to happen, but after listening to Jordan, he's swayed my opinion. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> why, did you yeah. why did you think it was going to happen? Because I think we're going to become more cognitive creatures and jobs are going to be more about mental skills. Technology. But then I've, I've been visited schools and I work in STEM. Techno I, I, I'm a software developer and the number of women doing software development hasn't increased. Mm. I would have thought they would have increased more, but I went into secondary school to do GCSE yeah. uh, IT stuff, and there's very, very few girls doing IT, and I'm thinking, IT is the future, and why are... And they are, the schools are pushing for more girls yeah. to go into IT, mm. but there's only... Two, I, can I, I, I visited I just... about eight schools... Can and I just, I thought, sorry, Salim, can I just oh, nick, sit, no, no, because I'm 30 seconds, Sophie's idea, actually representations in the media could be affecting Absolutely. such choices. Geeks, we see geeks, spectacled blokes with bad hair on computers. That's what tech <laughs> That's means, me. isn't it? Yeah, and, and you're absolutely right, because I think, actually, that one of the other things we want to do is to have a look at curriculums, to have more female role models to, you know, to encourage girls, because so long as we still see STEM as a boys' area that we're trying to get girls into, it's not going to work. We need to... Do the work we're doing on care, get more boys thinking about, you know, nursing, yeah. teaching, more role models okay. for boys in schools. And, and that's the way you think it on programmes down. like EastEnders, The Archers, yeah. that's helped yeah. them. Complete. Right, so, I, listen, I have to draw... Th OK, so what, this, what they're saying is that even though they have all the programmes for women, all these things that try to push women into these other fields, women choose, don't choose it. Women don't want to do these these things. They only want mostly jobs in the arts and humanities, cushy corporate jobs. Men are choosing not only to do the heavy lifting of society with blue collar work, but when it comes to technological advances, that is where men are. But she's saying it's the media's fault. It's not women's fault. It's not women's biology and what they're choosing to go into. It's not their fault. It's the media and how it's portrayed. And if we had more female representatives, so you want to force women to go into it? If they don't want to do it, it doesn't matter how many policies and whatever else you put out there. They're not going to do it because they don't lean towards those jobs. Men are rewarded for those jobs because they choose to take on those harder fields. There's more female doctors. I don't hear about you complaining about that. But see, nothing is good enough. And it's, ab it's an absolutely ridiculous argument. You see, when they don't get what they want, when even the women they're advocating for don't choose to go in the direction they want, well, now we have to change even more. We need more policies. We need more incentives. We need more things to force women to go in that direction so we can have more female role models. And we don't need pink and blue. This is what women naturally gravitate towards. But see, they want to erase a natural woman's biology when it suits them. And in otherwise, they want to turn men into more feminine men. They want them to be more feminist. They want them to be less masculine so they could take on these roles. But guys, leave a comment. This is nonsensical 
Every time I see these, Jordan Peterson just has to sit back at this point and just let it happen because it doesn't matter what he says, what data he puts out, how he shows it's failing, how it doesn't work, that they're not getting the results they want. They will not listen. They will not stop. But that's why we have channels like this, like mine, women to speak up about this foolishness and helping to eradicate this disease, this rabbit disease of the mind known as modern feminism. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.